And just over my shoulder there, you can see the remains of the Huendon Viaduct. Let me get that name right. Now I have got a fantastic picture of this. Last time I came, two years ago with the Whitewicks, and it's actually on my shop site. It's a lovely print of that viaduct there. But you can see it there as it spans across the valley, but we don't want to look at it from here. I love how the views this old sleeper here where you can see where the chair was sat on there and the GN for the Great Northern or the Great Northern Railway or the Great Northern Trail as it is called today. So like I said you can come on your bikes and cycle across the viaduct. So here we are at the Huendon Viaduct on this stunning summer's day. I think it's a really good day for it. Just check out that view. So here we are up on the viaduct and I've got to say the views from here are absolutely breathtaking. You've got the reservoir to my left here and then views into the, well, the amazing countryside on the right hand side here so let's pop up the camera over and i'll just show you some of these views still got the old recesses here as well all the way along the viaduct as you can see all the way down there on both sides but anyway let's check out this view over the viaduct just look at that Let's have a look over the other side as well. And this is the view on the other side here. You can see the fabulous reservoir just there. Which really makes this viaduct stand out because of the reservoir right in front of it. And then you can see the uh, drain off channel here making its way down the valley. And then let's zoom in on the actual viaduct on this side here. There you go. So you can see it's got a nice curve to it, just like the Thornton Viaduct has, as it heads on to the next station. Now I've just noticed as I'm walking down the viaduct, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a bit of a sag on that far end of the viaduct there. The wall is actually bowing out slightly, and it's actually sagging just ever so slightly on there. I mean, I'm, obviously, I'm sure this is checked out and it's, there's no cause for concern on this. I mean, I think it is a listed viaduct, but I just noticed it as I was walking along. So this is as far as I got two years ago with the Whitewicks. So a big thank you to Paul and Rebecca Whitewick for appearing in the video. I mean, technically I appeared in theirs, but thanks for joining us on this video because this is where we left them. And that's all the footage we've got now with the White Wicks. Let's get the drone up and get some really good shots of that viaduct because it is beautiful to see, especially with the reservoir right in front of it.
So here we are, here's the money shot for the Hewenden Viaduct. It can be found at the far end of the viaduct, the Cullingworth side. I didn't even know this was here. So just a little bit about the viaduct. So it was built between 1881 and 1884. And it stands at 124 feet from the grass down below up to the top of the viaduct and consists of 17 arches spanning the valley here. So they reopened this viaduct in 2005 so you're now able to cycle and walk over it which is fantastic. Let's have a little zoom in and have a little closer look. There you go you can see all 17 arches apparently 50 feet between each arch across the viaduct there. So we've reached the end of the Huendon Viaduct, which was absolutely magnificent. And I hope I got some good drone shots for you there, just before the seagulls or the gulls here attacked the blooming drone. <laughs> They're circling all over the viaduct now. But anyway, we're gonna push on this way and towards Cullingworth Station.